Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this video we're gonna show you, I have prepared something really simple, is how you can upload an image for a specific product. So here I have three and it's pretty basic, but all you need to do is in this tutorial is uh, click add image, this will show up. There's many ways you can do this. So this is just an example to get you started by you click you know, choose a file. I'm going to pick this random file that I have somewhere in my computer. And I'm just going to click upload. So right now, it's going to upload it and has an alert saying that it did. And if you can see at the bottom on the console it's saying uploaded. So we're going to see on Shopify now, as you can see, there's no image for my title. That's the one we target right now is this one. So I'm going to refresh and see if the picture is there. It's taking a while to load this page, but here we go. So here's the image. It works fine. Then I can delete it so you guys can see that it's actually working. Uh, image has been deleted. I'm going to refresh. And well, I want to make sure it's gone. That picture. So it's not there anymore. I'm going to try again. Should be the same thing. Click upload. And okay. Apparently it worked. So this Refreshing seems to be really slow. But anyways, I'm going to show you the code in a few seconds. So here it is. So the code is working. It's uploading an image. And obviously, you can do the same thing for the other products. Uh, let's say this one. One. Try that one. Same picture. Small image. And upload it. Okay. It's up there let's refresh and see what happens there it is so now i'm going to show you the code which is pretty kind of the same idea uh, what we've been doing so far uh here's the model that i got from bootstrap i just copy and paste it in here modify a few things uh, I did add this two fields from uh, to it. Uh, I have a hidden field in the file, the, the browse. To get the file, it's right here. I give it an ID. The hidden field has an ID. And the close has a, well, this one is just whatever Bootstrap had. Uh, the upload here, I, I have a function. So on click, it will upload the image. So here's the code for that. So you can see here, uh, select image. Uh, this is when they click upload. So uh, let me see where it go. It's right here. Move this. If I go up here, when I'm adding the rows, I have an add image link here. So on, on click, I'm going to pass the product ID to that JavaScript file or function. So it's right here. So it's getting the ID. And here I'm basically assigning that hidden field, this ID. And then I'm showing the model from Bootstrap that I have there. Okay, so that's so far showing you the pop-up, the model. And then when you click Upload, which is this guy, when you click upload, this function fires. So this will get call. And as you can see here, I'm making, getting the file and I'm adding it to this form data because we're gonna do an Ajax post. And here I'm pulling out the name of the file and basically doing an Ajax call uh, to the back end, and I'm passing the shop, uh, the ID for that product, and the file name. 
because I need to know exactly what I need to upload and where to. Without these three fields, you can you won't know how to upload or you could upload to the wrong uh, product or probably the upload will fail. So as you can see here, here are the settings for your a AJAX call. Here's the form data. We're not passing any content type and we're saying don't process anything. And just, you know, this is just a result. So you can change this any way you want it. But here's the back end. Here's the upload file. So this is what gets triggered or call. And I forgot to mention that I did have to add another module to the to this project. And I need to go over that. So the module name is Molter or any other way you pronounce it. There are many, many, many uh, modules out there that allows you to upload images or files. And I just picked this one uh, from the internet, but this is the file. So in the package JSON, somewhere in here, it's right here. So I'm using this version right now on this tutorial. That's the file that I added it <clears throat> so I can upload. So it's pretty simple. Here's all the configuration is from here all the way. This is all, all you need so you can start uploading. So here's, you, you. I guess you pull, you require your module in. You set this storage and basically all you need to do is set up somewhere where you want to save your files. So in my project, this project, it's under public and uploads. And you can name this anything you want. It doesn't have to be uploads. It can be anything, that folder. Now that's where you're going to save. There's nothing here to do. Basically, just you can use the same settings. Now here's where you can uh, set up filters. In our case, we're doing images. So here we're doing images. If not, it will return an error. Uh, that's all that's happening in here. And here is the file size. I think this is eight megabytes or something like that. But you can set your size there too. And just and here's where you pass uh, the the settings, the setup. So it will do it. And here is saying uh, limited to fifty uploads. But in our case, we're just doing one. But I just left it like that. There are many um, options or settings you can set this up. Uh, just look up uh, Molter. This is the the mod you need to look for on GitHub, and you have you'll find more more help on that. But so that's all you need to do. And then once you have this guy upload, then on your file upload post, that's where you're gonna use it. And here it is. Just pass in these values, and then you can check for any error. Because this guy is going to let you know if there's any errors like file size, you know, it's too big. It will let you know or any other error. So if there's no errors, as you can see here, if there's no errors, then that means we can upload to Shopify. So here I'm just getting the file name, building the URL, which is pretty simple. All you need to do is the shop, the product ID. Dot JSON, that's going to be your URL. And here's with the upload uh, product object. So as you can see, it's product ID. That's the product ID that we're pulling out. And then the images. In this case, I only have one because that's the only one that is the, the form is sending us or this, the model. We only have one image in this case. But obviously you can have more than one. And then we have our same thing, our options here. It's a put, this case, it's not a post. So Shopify is expecting a put. And that's what you need to do and then just pass in your object here. And then Shopify is gonna return a 200. If everything's fine, and then you can return back, you know that usual stuff. And if it's error out, then you can say it's error. But that's the code that you need basically to upload uh, images to Shopify. Um, let me know if you have any questions about this code. 
it's pretty simple I'm kind of copy and paste everything but obviously it can get more complicated than this um, so if you have any questions let me know I'll be checking out the YouTube or on Twitter any questions you guys might have about this project or these tutorials of Shopify so thank you for watching and have a nice day